What is up, guys? Black Spot Zebra here, bringing you a video. It's not really a vlog; it's a video of what's going to be going on. So, um, I had this crazy—well, it's not crazy, but an idea of what I could do for channel slash keep me entertained and possibly get through some of these uh, games in my library or just games that I've never played or should play or could play or do commentary. Uh, about South Park Stick of Truth, uh, DX Torre fucked up my recording, and, uh, yeah, that's... So, that's added to the list so I can replay it again and do a different character and maybe redo that again. But there's gonna be a lot of... I don't know, that that, that series is iffy because, like, there's a lot of stuff, and I don't know YouTube policy on a lot of this stuff, like nudity, anal probing, uh, dick scenes, and other shit that go on in there, and I'm pretty sure all y'all have seen it, but, you know... The game's pretty good, more it's other playthroughs through other characters and different types and do other stuff. So it's a lot of stuff in my hands I'm, I'm talking. Um, so, other than that, I came up with this idea, uh, originally it was a stream idea, um, was that, like, I don't really, I when I want to stream something, I don't really know what I want to stream, and when I don't know what I want to stream, I don't end up streaming, and then it just, just keeps getting put off, put off. This way, I came up with an idea that I have to get working on of doing a stream. And by doing this, is doing it as a roulette style. Uh, a roulette, you know, wheel with numbers and stuff. So I, I'm, I'm cataloging all these games on my computer. I got my monitors here, and I got games cataloging. Uh, I got down to like 55, um, 40 or so were from Steam library games. Um, a couple other games are off of Steam. And then I also did um, SNES emulators, 64 emulators and did a, added a bunch of games I never really played on those consoles, so I added those to the list. Um, Pokemon games are on there, um, mainly just like Nuzlocks, Pokemon Nuzlocks, and no, I'm not speedruns. I don't do speedruns because I don't know shit. I'm terrible at games. Period. I'm absolutely terrible. If you see my videos, I'm terrible at any kind of game. Uh, so mainly just Nuzlocks of uh, red, blue, yellow, gold, silver, crystal. I'll show you the list in a bit of what I've got so far. But this is just a video of FaceTime to see me, I guess. I don't know. Um, if you're wondering what I've been going on, I've got a, got a nice little Wobble Fit I just bought. Got it for $10. It is uh, from the, uh, the X and Y set of uh, We Are Team Rocket. And it's Wobble Fit, and it's awesome. So, uh, yeah, that's on my desk now. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and transfer over to the screen, and we'll pick up from there, and I'll go over the games and what I've been doing, and then maybe you guys also can add games that you think I should add to the list. I'll probably just go out and buy them on Steam, or uh, if they're emulated available, like, because uh, I don't have every single kind of console, and every single way to record, and I figured just doing emulators is the easiest way. Oh my god, Zebra, you're emulating. You're such a terrible person. I, I know. I am a terrible person. I get that every day. So, uh, kick it over to the TV screen, and we'll see what's up. I'll catch you guys in a bit. Alright, guys, and here we are with what I have. Originally, I did say it's stream, but uh, if possibility, or not possibility, if possible, this could possibly lead to possible Let's Play. So, is stream, let's play, either or, uh, something I can stream, plus be a, also a let's play to go on into the, uh, my YouTube slash Twitch or whatever, but, uh, like I said, I just had a, I just, like, uh, took all the games in my Steam library first, uh, signed them all a number, and I'll do through a randomizer, but what I was also thinking is maybe, hey, Zebra, go buy, like, a wooden wheel and make a wheel and have a wheel of, you know, like, an actual roulette wheel for the games and, you know, number them, uh, all accordingly and then spin the wheel, record it and spin the wheel, and I'll decide the game I play. So, uh, just go through, uh, just the basic games, these are just, uh, games that are in alphabetically order and through my Steam library. Uh, then I'll show you where it gets a little more, not really complicated, but more in depth. I, I guess I don't know. Like, well, for one, in, for instance, Minecraft. There's multiple ways to play Minecraft. So I, if it lands on 46, I'm not going to give all these their individual spot over here. But if it lands on 46, I'll do like a randomizer, spin the wheel again, and then like you know one through eight, and that will determine which mode of Minecraft I'll play so like you know you got those like 
adventure maps and stuff, and then like online servers. This is more geared towards um, streaming in a way, just because you know I can do like high pixel server and do all the mini games and stuff that way. It's a it's a little more entertaining towards like a stream. Maybe a let's play. I I doubt it would be a let's play. It'll probably be like a let's hop on a server for you know a session and then that'll be it but that's that same thing with pokemon nuzlocke like i told you if it lands on number 48 that means i'll do a pokemon nuzlocke and then i'll spin the wheel again and then or randomize and then one through 12 uh will determine which pokemon game i am going to nuzlocke since red and blue are considerably different than yellow i kind of did the same gold and silver are the same crystals different ruby sapphire the same emeralds different you know so on and so on so i got that going on and then I also added Pokemon Mystery Dungeon because I never, I've never really played these games. And, you know, it's a whole different aspect. It's more RPG based and, you know, you know, there's a uh, grid based movement and turn, uh, you know, turn based combat. You know, I played the first one pr probably for like 30 minutes on my DS, but I never really got into it. So maybe I'll do a Pokemon Rescue, uh, Pokemon Rescue or Mystery Dungeon or whatever they want to call them. Um. And then same thing for the ZNS uh, SNES emulator. Uh, I put a bunch of games I haven't really I haven't played. Um, aside from Link to the Past and Mega Man X, I think those are the only games. All oh, Super Metroid I played, but that was a long, 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 long time ago. So if I probably played them today, I probably suck ass at them. So uh, so if it lands on 50, I would roll through 1 through 11. And then if y'all have any other games that y'all want me to add on here that would probably be entertaining, then I could probably add them on through. These are just some of the like the top things that I kind of went off my head to play on here so yeah there's those and then same thing with the N64 uh, actually I got 19 games on the N64 or green of time I've played Majora's Mask I never really played Super Mario 64 I've played don't expect uh, me to do like speed run bullshit and be perfect because that's not me I'm I I'm terrible at games I don't know how to do speed runs I don't put the time and effort to look up stuff and try and do crazy shenanigan shit like the backwards jump dash down the hall i know about them but i don't i don't do them uh golden i i figured just play through the story would be fun i don't i'm not sure how the uh n64 netcode is to do a multiplayer i have no idea i don't think that'd work um banjo kazooie series i never really played perfect dark was a fun game that i like that i wouldn't mind revisiting and you know wwe no mercy or wwf no mercy because why not and a couple star wars games because there are actually some good star wars games on the uh n64 um, Duke Nukem 3D I have on Steam and Shadow Warrior, but, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm still building out a list, so I can always add more games, and the more games I add, the more randomized the list is, which makes it even more fun, I guess, because it's like, I don't want to, well, it could kind of turn into play shitty games, but I actually don't want to spend money on shitty games through Steam, because, nah, I'd rather not have those in my library, unless they're on sale and they're like a dollar, then why not, I could be miserable through a game, but, you know, I got, just got, a list of games and if y'all have any games that you think i should play i can add to the list that's fine um that's pretty much most of all that's going on in here is on this list is just me just putting the list together and then work from there because this is something i would want to do and it, it's something that i think could be could have the potential to be really entertaining so uh, you know go ahead and leave me a comment below of games that you might want to see me play uh and then you know i'm gonna try and look i might have to bust out my uh middle school wood crafts wood crafts skills and you know buy some wood and uh you know do some uh mo finagling cutting of the wood for to make a roulette wheel it just shouldn't take too long i'm i have i have the tools at my disposal i just need to do it so that's that's that so that's going to be it for this part, I guess, uh, instead of you just looking at this screen. I guess I like, turned it back over to the face cam. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop this here, and we'll go back to I have my phone still set up, so I'll do that. Welcome back, guys. Well, you probably can't hear me under that, but that's pretty much what I wanted to do. That's the general idea of what I wanted to do. Um, just go over the video, or go over the list of games, show you what I'm working with. Uh, maybe put the wheel in the back kind of like, uh, gotta pull them off, kind of like how I did, just, you know, walk up, spin them, I'll probably have to put them in my garage, I don't know, uh, I've been debating on space in my room, I don't really have a lot of room, I'm trying to clean out my old room where the gotta pull them all used to go on, uh, this is a totally different room, so I'm trying to work that out, maybe have an actual studio, funding it with whatever money I have, but, <laughs> um, well, that's pretty much the idea of what I wanted to do, uh, the time I want to try and get this started 
probably be at least sometime during the week. Uh, I want to get it before April because April I'll be doing Texas Showdown, so I'll be busy, so I won't really have much time. So this is something I probably want to get off the ground and running sooner or later. Uh, but if you have any uh, game ideas or suggestions on how this should work out, this, like I said, this is just a general uh, rough idea, brainstorming period, something like that. Is that, is that what it is? Okay, well, well, we'll go with that. So, other than that, that's pretty much going to be it for this video. The list of games are there. Uh, I'll put the list also and the Google Doc into my, uh, in, the, in the description below, so you can always click that out. And uh, if you want, you know, comment. Personal messaging is bullshit through YouTube now because of Google+. Plus. So, I guess the best way is just to leave a comment. Um, and then... Through that, I can add games to it. Hopefully, try not add games that are full price, because, like, again, I'm going to pay $60 for a game that's probably going to be shit, or $40 for a game that's probably going to be shit. Metal Gear Solid Ground Zero, something like that. <laughs> but uh, that's going to be it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video somewhat, and uh, I'll catch you guys later. Cheers.